the observer should explain the procedure briefly to the patient. In particular, they should warn the patient of the minor discomfort caused by inflation and deflation of the cuff and tell the patient that the measurement may be repeated several times. The patient should be in a warm environment. Tight or restrictive clothing should be removed from the arm. An appropriate size cuff should be applied to the upper arm. The centre of the cuff bladder should be positioned over the artery. The cuff should fit firmly and be comfortably secured. The lower edge of the bladder should be two to three centimetres above the point of the maximum pulsation of the brachial artery. The British Hypertension Society recommends that the tubing should exit from the top of the cuff so that it does not interfere with the placing of the stethoscope in the antecubital fossa. The arm should be horizontal and supported at the level of the heart because dependency of the arm below heart level leads to an overestimation of systolic and diastolic pressures of about 10 millimeters of mercury. Correspondingly, raising the arm above the heart level leads to an underestimation of blood pressure. Before having his blood pressure taken, the patient should remain lying or sitting for three minutes or standing for one minute.